time, I'd like to call to order the regular monthly meeting of South Union Township Board of Supervisors. Um, we'll do opening prayer followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, number four, uh, roll call. Mr. Schiffbauer? Here. Mr. Vernon? Here. Mr. Scott? Here. Uh, number five on the agenda is the Roadmaster's Report. I have that here. Uh, the Roadmaster Report for the month of January. Um, we hauled compost six days. We plowed or sawed it eight times, including the, the big storm we had last weekend, um, which was four of the days we plowed. It was tough, but we, we, we got the roads opened. Uh, I know some people aren't happy, but you know we, we gave it all we had. A lot of times we were getting a lot of complaints about the state roads, which people don't like the uh, Bailey Lane up here by the country clubs, not ours. We get a lot of complaints about it, um, but we did get the roads open. Schools only closed one day, so I think, you know, all in all it turned out pretty good. Um, we patched holes five times in the month of January. We took down the Christmas wreath in Hopwood. Um, we picked up trees and limbs from the windstorm that we had two weeks prior to the snow, um, which was, uh, we were out couple of us were out all night on the one time and we worked at the city compost four days cleaning up the compost um, we're working on the rec center doing a little renovating the bathrooms uh, continuously changing oil and maintaining the trucks and we removed some trees from creeks that were overflowing you know before the meltdown of the big snow game. Uh, that concludes my roadmaster report for the month of January you gentlemen have anything else no, sir. Like that? Uh, number six, the Code Enforcement Officer's Report. That's Mr. Vernon. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the month of January of this year, uh, our Code Officer's Report is as follows. Letters for property repairs, we had seven. Uh, junk vehicles, we had seven. Uh, burning complaints, we only had two. The only burn from eight to five on Saturdays. Quad complaints, we had three. Uh, our officer wrote 15 citations, and we had two zoning violations, a total of 36. There's it went out. Our, our full-time office crew works Monday through Fridays from 7 to 3.30 uh, for 1,181 miles throughout the township. And we have another part-time officer who works during the day. And also we have three part-time officers at night that work seven days a week. Travel 1,520 miles for a total of 2,601 miles throughout the township. I'm sorry, 2,701 miles throughout the township. Also, our officers gave out six Friday tickets and one handicap ticket. That concludes our... Good enforcement report for the month of January. Do you have anything to add, Mr. Schiffbauer? No, I don't. Thank you, Mr. Vernon. Uh, number seven, motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. I'll move to approve. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second Mr. Vernon's motion. On the roll call, Mr. Vernon? Yes. Mr. Schiffbauer? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Motion carries. Number eight, comments on agenda items. Does anyone have any comments just on the agenda items at this time? Yeah. So moving on. Uh, number nine, we received a grant this month uh, awarded to us in the amount of $260,000 from the DNCR to develop the Sheepskin Trail. Uh, this is Mr. Schiffbauer's work very hard at this to get this grant. I'll let him tell you about it. Okay, thank you, Jason. Yeah, we've been working uh, with uh, Donna Holdor from the National Road Heritage Corridor program and we submitted this grant along with several others but this is the first one we've uh, received word on uh, it was approved uh, uh, Representative Mahoney's office we have some correspondence for him notifying that the grant has been approved and the money will be spent to uh, develop the sheepskin trail that will run from uh, Bart Mill Road where the shirt factory is uh, right be below the uh, uh, Clutches Lumber and it will run along basically along the old Penn Central Railroad track uh, through the uh, golf course and through the township property uh, here behind our recreation center all the way up to Redstone Furnace Road 
and from there it will, uh, will cross the Red Sun Furnace and follow a parallel path along Stadium Drive to the uh, Township Park at Hutchison. And uh, that will be the first stage that we're going to be working on. We're ready to go. Uh, I talked to the DCNR office in Harrisburg today, and they are still developing the formal agreement that has to be signed, be signed uh, between uh, DCNR and the uh, Board of Supervisors. And the project manager will be coming up out visit with us and go over uh, the details and we're looking forward as soon as the weather breaks here the agreement will be ready to go and we can get started also we've had some uh, uh, volunteers already uh, indicated uh, some groups that they would be uh, uh, willing to donate uh, their time and effort uh, uh, one group that uh, just recently I, I met with is the Bruder offers from over the mountains they have a, a, a group of about 20, 25 young men uh, in, in their early, well, late teens, early in, in, in their 20s. So uh, they said that they would come out and work with us on the, you know, a basis, maybe a, a week here, a week there. And also, I spoke last night with Colonel uh, Johnson from the Lower Highlands ROTC uh, program. I believe that's the Air Force, Mr. Colonel Johnson is from. And uh, they, will, they will be helping us, too. And that will be on a long-term basis. Uh, I guess this program that the RTC RTC has, uh, it's just not a short given period. Uh, as long as we are developing, working on the trail system and some of our recreation programs, they've indicated a willingness to uh, to work and help uh, on a volunteer basis. So that's basically uh, what's going on right now. And also, we have another grant that we've submitted. It's called the uh, Multimodal uh, grant application that goes through PennDOT, and that's uh, for an amount of $550,000. And hopefully uh, we will receive a favorable decision on that in either March or April. That money will be basically used to develop our spur trail that will run from the Hutchison Park to uh, to the, uh, the site where Fort Gas Homestead is. Uh, that section is going to require a lot more work and a lot more money involved. But one of, the, one of the things that we're going to do, this is a lot of money, these grants, there is a, it's on a matching, 50-50 matching basis, but uh, what we'll be able to do to offset our dollar amount, uh, our crews can do work, and that will be in-kind service where it will be given a dollar amount and it will not be uh, taken from our coffers other than having uh, our workers uh, do some of the work. So that's uh, what's going on right now with, uh, with the trail project. Yes, sir. Question about the two hundred sixty thousand uh, dollars. Is any of that used for actual construction, or is it land acquisition? No, it's it's construction. We already have. We either own the property. We we own the actually the majority of the property that the sheep's control is going to be uh, running on, and the other two properties that are involved would be uh, the Uniontown Country Club and the Southwest uh, Railroad. And what we're doing there is we're working out an easement agreement, and that will not be costing the township anything. And then even on the spur, most of that property uh, is it going to involve uh, mostly township property along Brownfield Road. And the only other portion that will leave township property is along the bypass, which is owned by PennDOT, and that will not cost any money as far as that. We'll just have to develop an, an, an agreement, something similar uh, to that that we have with the Eantown Country Club. Like that, anything else, Mr. Oh, I want to tell you, Mr. Sheffard's put a lot of long hours into this while we really appreciate you. Well, I'm going to tell you, but we, we've always, we've had a good reputation here at South Union Township working with recreation programs, but when, when, I, when we start working on this, uh, you know, it become clear, not only does it have benefits for the people here in South Union Township from a health standpoint, exercising and safety benefit, if you look on the overall and the broader, brighter, uh, broader spectrum, uh, this trail system holds a lot of potential for economic development. Uh, if you go to the north, north of us on the Greater Allegheny Passageway, and that's up the Confluence and the Hyapal, the trails there, uh, that trail runs from Pittsburgh all the way to Washington, D.C. That area, uh, just in a two-year period uh, in which a study was done, and 2007, in that four county area that's located in Pennsylvania, that trail was responsible for bringing in excess of $37 million. 
A year later, that went from 37 million to 40 million. Uh, Confluence Borough fought originally they, the, the project for the trial. I mean, it had an organized group uh, in opposition. Once the trial was built, unfortunately, they, weren't, they, they did not stop it. There are six bed and breakfasts now in the little community of Confluence. They've increased the size of their, their supermarket and also other businesses have uh, has, uh, benefited substantially. And when you look at tying in the, uh, the Sheepskin Trail, will tie in the Great Allegheny Passageway with the trail system in West Virginia, which is a rather large trail system itself, you know, we stand to benefit uh, greatly as from, from that economic uh, uh, benefit to the area if the trail is completed in its entirety. And uh, I, I think the people should take this in consideration and uh, we're, we're going to be trying to educate the people as to the benefits derived from trail systems. Uh, it, it, it's, it's immense what the benefits and the payoff would be here to Fay County if we can make this thing after this 34 miles a trail from Confluence or from Ohio Powell, or from, actually from Dunmore to, uh, to Morgantown. So we'll keep you abreast. I'm sure you're going to be hearing a lot more about it and reading about it. And uh, someday here uh, we'll be able to get on our bikes and go just about anywhere we want to. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Um, moving on, number 10 uh, is the sewage department report. Um, for those of you who don't know, we did take the sewage authority over last month. The Board of Supervisors is now in control of the uh, Township Sewage. Um, so every month I'm going to be giving a report. It just, the transition has gone through, uh, and I'm real happy with the, so far, the progress that we've made. It's just, I know Bob's been into it before, and Rick's said about the authority. You know, you have a monthly meeting one time a month, and these guys all have full-time jobs. Uh, a couple of them are engineers, you know. We, we had a, a, an attorney, I think, was one of, and it, nothing against the authority. It just it, when you have somebody like we're here every day, and that was my background with sewage authority. And when I was going through this campaign, and when you tell people that you can't help them with the sewage, they just don't understand. Which, you know, they think when you're a township supervisor, you have the authority, the whole township, and we didn't. And you know, the p first two years that I was here, I, I was over at the authority, and I was trying to get you know places I knew people were having problems. And this month after month, it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back. So when, you know, it came up and we talked to our solicitor about, you know, going through this process, it only made sense. Um, so every month I'll be giving a report uh, along with my other two supervisors. Uh, but like I said, we're out daily. You know, we, ha we do have a superintendent over there and an office manager. And uh, the one union employee we had over there, we brought, or two unions, we have a secretary and a laborer, we brought over into our union. And that transition's all been done, and, and things are, you know, everybody's settled in now. We've only had a month, but I think things are going a lot better. But just a couple things that we are doing. Uh, we st they started a GIS program, which puts all our township on maps. So if you call in with a sewer complaint, it won't take us a matter of having to, the guys to go out and pull manholes. We'll have everything on a computer screen in front of us. So for the past, uh, I say, four to five months, they've been out trying to find all these manholes and marking them. A company is going to come in, locate all the manholes, find the depths, and I hope within five years we have most of the taps and everything will be on this computer system. So it's definitely going to be uh, bring us up. To, you know, a lot of other townships have it already, and we were a little lax. We were the first ones to have sewage in the area, but then we sort of like just lax on what we did to update it and bring it into the 21st century. So that's a big thing. Uh, we do have some issues at one of our pump stations out of Route 21, so we're going through those right now to try to figure out what we can do with that. You know, the best way to not spend a million dollars is what we're trying to do to fix it. So hopefully we don't have to do that. Um, but their daily things, like they had 53 one calls that they do to mark the lines, like if you're digging something in your yard, they do those. They had nine service calls. They bid out a blockage on 95 Dawson, and they got the bids out for that. We did get a contractor to do that. Um, we have no issues at our other two pump stations right now, and they're, they have some manhole repairs and things like that. So if you do have any problems, you continue to call the same number you called before with the authority. We still have an office manager over there. Nothing's changed with that, and uh, we'll get it taken care of. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, gentlemen? Well, yeah, just looking back to your original point about uh, the authority and disbanding it and bringing the operation into the uh, under the Board of Supervisors. Uh, 
a little over two years ago, uh, myself, Mr. Vernon, and Mr. Frankhauser, we actually voted to extend the life of the authority. The original charter only allowed for the authority to be in existence for, I think, 50 years. And uh, we had to decide whether we are going to continue with it uh, or not. Well, we actually voted to continue the authority. But when uh, Mr. Scott came along here, unfortunately, at the, uh, uh, through the death of Mr. Frank Hauser, uh, you know, he brought to the table of board supervisors here a, a wealth of experience and knowledge of our system. Probably he, he knows more about our system than anybody, and that includes anybody from the authority here to Township or anywhere. And uh, we, we just looked at it from the standpoint that you're running, it's, it's running a business, and, and you try to make the best decisions and making that business work to the benefit, in our case, to the people of South Union Township. And, and we saw this opportunity to make it run smoother and more effective and, and, and provide the benefits to the public. That's why we, we, we decided to disband the, the authority and uh, call upon it, draw upon uh, Mr. Scott's experience. And so far, in this relatively short period of time, uh, it, it's, wor it's, it's working well, and, and I'm sure we'll continue to do so. I appreciate it, Mr. Schiffer. Mr. Vernon, you mean? I'll just mention one thing. Over the years, I've been here 10 years, and we usually get the phone calls and complaints that we have to go across the street, that she'd have to contact the board members. We're having Jason around. Like having an encyclopedia for the city's authority. And Jason, we appreciate your effort. No, I appreciate that too. For long hours at night. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know. Uh, you're young, right? You can handle yeah, it. Yeah, I can handle it. For, for now, anyway, right? Um, number 11 uh, is to pass a resolution to approve a sewer planning module for James Swaney. We have a sewer planning module here. I'll just give you a quick description of what's. Uh, um, property owned by James Swaney is located at 154 Wiggins Lane in South Union Township, Fayette County. Uh, it's a 16-acre parcel, zoned R1. The parcel where the sewage line is planned to go is currently unused by the landowner, but plans to develop in the future. Uh, he's extending the line. I think it's uh, approximately 300 feet, and it's only for one tap. It's only one EDU, so it's only adding one house to the sewer system. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, the chair to entertain a motion to pass a resolution. I'll move to pass a resolution for the swing plan. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll, pay, I'll make a motion to second the motion and proper second. On the roll call, Mr. Vernon? Yes. Mr. Schiffbauer? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Motion carries. Um, number 12, open bids for gasoline and diesel fuel. Um, last month we bid out 15,000 gallons of gas and 6,000 gallons of diesel. And once again, the same as last year, we didn't seem to receive any bids. Um, what I was told, I called a couple of them, and what I was told, they have to pay the tax, and then they have to wait to get the tax money back. And these small companies just can't can't manage to, to carry over the tax. I mean, sometimes they have to wait almost two months to get the tax money back. So that's the problem. I did reach out to three or four of the locals and, and ask them why they don't bid, if they could come bid. And we ran into the same thing last year, and we ended up, uh, right now we're using Nagy Gas and Oil on a month-to-month -month basis because we haven't had any bids. Uh, Mr. Davis, you have anything on that? Well, I think at this point we can continue to do what we have done in the past, and it, we can advertise again if we wish. Do we need to? You're not absolutely required to. Uh, the only thing I had mentioned to Mr. Scott is it's, it's, there's no downside to doing it. Uh, I don't anticipate we're going to get a different result, but certainly we can demonstrate that we've done everything we could, gone overboard in our efforts to comply with the uh, bidding process, or in this case, uh, receiving quotes. And, and from the companies that I talk to, they have no interest in bidding it. So I don't think anything's going to change. No, I don't either. So, I mean, we've just been using Nagy on a month-to-month basis, and I, we can... Do you guys want to rebid or just continue? No, I mean, it? this has been a reoccurring problem for how many years? Right. It's, it's not going to go It's our second year for sure, I think, isn't it? The second year? Oh, longer than that. More than that. that. It's been, yeah, the two years I've been here, yeah. it's been this Maybe way. even before that. Yeah. It would yeah. be it's bad. all because of that tax issue. And I mean, every time we put this out to bid, obviously, it costs us money with advertising yeah. and everything else. So yeah. I would just say we'll just uh, continue to use yeah. Nagy. Okay. But we have to bid it every year, no matter what. Right, right. Okay. 
number 13. And you call for quotes as well, and I know don't, no one wanted to get Yeah, I tried. I, mean, <laughs> I, I tried to get somebody else just yeah. to, you know. Yeah. To get, uh, and, and one of them did bring up a good point, is if, like last year, gas went from $3 a gallon to $2.10. And if you yeah. bid it in January at $3 yeah. a gallon, you're paying that $3 a gallon for the whole year. So, yeah. you know, when we're doing this month to month, he sells it to us at market value. So you're really better off the way we're doing it. But, you know, it's unfortunate no one bids on it. Um, <clears throat> item number 13, announce the South Union Township Sports Network is on YouTube. Uh, I have a couple things here and then I'll let Mr. Schiffbauer, I know this is, he, he was with them from the start. Uh, we do have all our games. I talked to Jerry behind the camera before the meeting and uh, a couple things about the South Union Township uh, Television Network is Jerry and John have been doing it since 1990 and I just asked Jerry They've done 3,551 sporting events in, in their in their 26 years that they've been doing. And that's Jerry Dupay and John Cazare. Jerry, oh yeah, Jerry Dupay and John Cazare, and uh, 3,551 sporting events, and they went live on YouTube. We got a new we we uh, ventured into a new website. I think like last July it went up, and after that, the uh, Jerry actually took the front with this and started putting the games on YouTube. Jerry said mid October was the first. Uh, he puts all our meetings, all our sporting events, everything goes on, and all you have to do is search South Union Television in YouTube, and you can find all the events that Jerry puts on. But we also have three announcers. We have, uh, you know, John, John Kazarek has been sick the past couple of years. He still does our production. He manages to keep going the production for us. Uh, Gary Frankhauser is one of our announcers. You always see Gary. He does the football games. He does an excellent job. Dan Wallace, Brian Morozak from WMBS, and... Nick Burchak, uh, they're, they're all announcers. I don't know how often Nick does it, but I've seen him at a couple of events, and he does a good job too. But Mr. Schiffbauer has been here from the beginning of this, and the, you know, this is another one of his starts, so I'll let him address it real quick. Well, thank you, Jason. Uh, it, it's, it's been around for a long time. It was an idea that the sergeant just grew, and, uh, and, and what made it all possible to come up with the idea to do something like this was easy. But then once it set in that unless you have the right people doing the announcing and the camera work, it could turn into a calamity. And we were very lucky on our first shot going out and talking to people uh, who would be interested in doing this. Our first contact was with John Kateri, and he jumped at the opportunity, and along with John came, came Jerry, and, and it, it's worked well. I, I, I never received any complaints or anything like that from the, the work they put out. Uh, it, it adds to our community, and I know if you go into other areas, and, and Jerry uh, certainly can attest to this, uh, when they do the football games and, and some of these people find out that uh, these games are being put on a, a cable TV network, they just can't not believe that uh, our people here are able to uh, enjoy watching their children, their relatives, their friends, and, and doing other things to community activities we've been doing programs on. Matter of fact, we're going to do a series of programs dealing with the uh, sheepskin trail and the trail concept. So uh, it's worked out uh, pretty well and we're just trying to even uh, now with uh, YouTube even more divine our program what we're doing here with the uh, cable TV network. And I'd like to thank Jerry and all the guys. I know Jerry puts a ton of hours into it. I have three small kids and every sporting event that that they're in, you know, Jerry, John, uh, Gary, so one of them is there, and I get text after text from the parents wanting to know, as soon as they see Jerry video in one of the games of our kids, then my phone's getting text the next two days wanting to know when it's going to be on, when it's going to be on. So now that it's on YouTube, it's a lot easier. I can just tell them to log on to YouTube and they can look it up themselves. So, But uh, I thank all you guys for your hard work. <clears throat> um, okay, moving on. Uh, number 15, the financial statement. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Our statement for the ending of January 30th. General Fund checking account, we have $287,477.41. General Fund investment account, we have $446,023.97. Our state fund, $38,524.01. Our hydrant fund, $1,783.98. Our athletic fund, $8,504.88. And our sewage fund, 
one million seven hundred fifty-nine thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars and thirteen cents. Our North Union and South Union Intergovernmental Board Fund twenty thousand six hundred fifty-two dollars and five cents for a total of four million three hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred sixteen dollars and fifty-six cents. That's my report for the financial statement. Thank you, Mr. Byrne. Any questions? Yeah. Uh -huh. Next one. No questions, Mr. Shipper. Um, number number sixteen. Uh, motion to pay all the current bills, Mr. Shipper. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to pay all current bills as follows: from the intergovernmental fund, the South Union North Union, five thousand three hundred and fifty dollars; from the state fund, thirty-four thousand twenty-one dollars and thirty-six cents; hydrant fund, one thousand one hundred. $76.39, athletic fund, $6,157.72. From the sewage fund, $45,805.20. And from the general fund, $286,122.34. That's my motion. I'll Thank second you, Mr. Schiffbauer's motion. <coughs> we have a motion and a proper second on the roll call. Mr. Schiffbauer? Yes. Mr. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Motion carried. Number 17, uh, anything from our solicitor? Well, I did want to comment on the, uh, the, the grant. I think it's wonderful that the, that the South Union received the DC and our grant. I know how hard Mr. Schiffbauer worked on that. Uh, I worked in a very small way with him. And I, I, I know there was a, a lot of competition for that grant. So obviously, uh, the three of you are doing something right to get that grant, and I think the sheep skin, uh, excuse me, the sheepskin trail is a, a wonderful concept. I think it'll benefit not only South Union Township but the entire area here. And I'm looking forward to enjoying it myself here on occasion. So I want to commend all of you for that. As far as the the, the uh, YouTube, I'm glad this is on YouTube now, so now I'll get to That's right. go on YouTube and watch some of that. But I really want to read the report, and I want to. Uh, again, if any of the supervisors have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Thank you, Mr. Solicitor. Um, anything else, guys? Number 18, uh, motion to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn at 4.50. A motion to have a second? I'll second a motion. On the roll call, Mr. Vernon? Yes. Mr. Schiffbauer? Yes. Mr. Scott? This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.